This is great. Dude, are, please tell me that you're leaving this poster here. Oh, yeah, for the next person. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's just there. But you needed to secure this thing to the wall so fucking hard yeah. with super glue. <laughs> oh, they ain't getting this off. <laughs> All right, so so you rent the apartment, but it does come with a few caveats. Is it part of the reason you're moving is because all the black mold up there? Dude, that's part of it. <laughs> Dude, Brother, if I had so known, reasons. I would have come with a hazmat suit. <laughs> Dude, that was, you know where that came from? We put up um, Christmas lights and just took them down. And all that is from the light just being up there the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It's done amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's just burned. Oh, into it's there. many reasons. Can't have pets. Can't smoke weed. Uh, landlord sucks. Yeah, this is what is this America? Or this Russian apartment? dudes <laughs> swimming in the pool, not allowing you to be. Well, in that's there. a plus. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing pros and cons yeah, now? Yeah, or yeah, just... yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no pets. Uh, no, it's my time to swim. Yeah, yeah. You know I, I signed up, Yuri. You know, I take that down. You know what makes no sense? No pets, no weed, but uh, dwarves can come over whenever they want. Yeah. They, they actually have a smaller door. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm like, we, it says, have, Welcome, Brad. Yeah, we have an entrance. <laughs> Christ. He had an entrance before I even moved in here. And how do you find it? There's a rainbow track that just goes up there. He's a, he just goes right to it. There, there, are, there are so many people that when I like walk through here, like I know like three people that live here. And they just assume that I live here, too. Can I be honest with you? Forever, yeah. I assumed you lived here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. I've been coming here for how many years? Yeah. I yeah. thought you lived here. Yeah. You you just thought that I had one of the drawers. And uh, yeah. yeah, just push it out. And like, okay. And that was rude of Adam, the dwarf drawer. <laughs> you didn't have to put that on there. Rude? I didn't have to give him a drawer. You hey. didn't. You hey. did not. You should have let him sleep on the floor. That he was the contract. It, by the way. So it says one drawer. Place. Yeah. <laughs> Done. That's the, his rider. The dwarf in the in the drawer was the oh uh, the follow up to the Indian Indian in the cupboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a follow up <laughs> the sequel. Wait, stop. But well, who was in the uh, Indian in the cupboard? Uh, Aziz Ansari right. was in the remake, <laughs> okay. and then they were like kind of racist. And now Seth Rogen is in the dwarf in the drawer. Yeah, they just shrink him down <laughs> like they do on those SNL sketches. <laughs> Oh. Wait, but he's the pothead that opens yeah. the drawer and finds Brad in there. Yeah. Oh, so he's the he's the yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. He's Adam Ray. Yeah. Yeah. And is Brad playing Brad? I mean, we're not we're not getting that son of a bitch Dinklage. Oh God, right? Yeah. We wanted it. We, that's what they say at the production meeting. Let's make this real clear. Yeah. We wanted Dinklage. <laughs> Why is that on the posters? <laughs> we wanted. Dinklage. We wanted Dinklage. <laughs> that was me, one of the reviewers. And, and the it's review. me in the drawer. They're like, hey. Yeah, yeah, Dinklage is like passed. Yeah, he passed, and then it's like, ah, we we, we have this script, and it's good, but ah, we don't have any other dwarves to do it. Brad's like, I wrote it. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we, we're lit. Yeah, yeah. We're no, we Brad, no. give us a second. Yeah. We're looking for dwarves here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking for A-list dwarves. Can you get some coffee for us? <laughs> <laughs> do you think is uh, is Tony Cox still alive? Can we, can we get him? I'll make a puppet of him, even if he isn't. <laughs> we will puppet that dwarf. <laughs> We will go to that sounds expensive. Yeah, puppeting that dwarf. Yeah, Insta- yeah, yeah, yeah. So that sounds it- like a great sex move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did Brad. You- so, so, did you- <laughs> so did you totally puppet that dwarf tonight? Damn. I puppeted that dwarf. I puppeted the fuck out of that dwarf. Two fists. <laughs> I double puppet. Uh, du- yeah. <laughs> double d- double puppet. The dub pup. The double puppet. Is there um is there is there a place that you haven't been to on the map? Yeah. Country wise. Yeah. Because I feel like every time you, you come to. back, you've gone to another, you've picked up another language. <laughs> See. Si. <laughs> See? What is that? Uh, Espanol. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, See? Look yeah. how cultured you are. Or. Where's that from? That's from the, the clicks in the African jungle. <laughs> <laughs> and that was uh, C. <laughs> uh, the letter C in their culture. Not yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's all different you, it's you know a how lot. you go know your ABCs? It's yeah. know your. <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah. where they're so far ahead of us. Now right? I know my. <laughs> See, Brad's been there. <laughs> Brad and I went on a tour there. That's where dwarves came from. Originally. Is that where you puppet a dwarf? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They call it pygmies. But yeah, yeah. You puppet a pygmy. It's called a pee pee. Yeah. You gonna puppet a pygmy? Um, Why is it a BET joke all of a sudden? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah, but- you have a puppet of yeah, pygmy. Pig Yo, white people be puppet and pygmy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, if you're going to puppet a dwarf, <laughs> you won't puppet. You better puppet a pygmy. Better, better pig better pig That's someone's catchphrase. That's like the, like a BET version of Larry the Cable Guy, <laughs> where it just ends with puppet a pygmy, and then everyone just goes, ah! They have shirts. Wait, what was Would that not, one guy? Oh, there was a ha- there, there was hamburger. Yeah, and Ch- and Chucky Ducky, Chucky Ducky, Chucky Ducky. You've never seen that? No. Oh, there is a there is a BET comic where he does a joke, and every time he ends the joke, he goes Chucky Ducky, quack quack. 
and people go and nuts. People go wow. lose their mind. Ape shit. Wait, have you ever seen him live, or is this on the internet? He was on Family Feud not too long ago. Him and his family. Because he knows Steve Harvey, and apparently he's having money problems because Chuggy Ducky Quack Quack don't pay the bills. It did, uh, no, it's not like it used to. <laughs> <laughs> People have moved on. Yeah. They moved on to just Quack Quack. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so Steve Harvey had him on Family Feud. Him, him, and his entire family. And he's like, was, "What charity are you playing for?" He's like, "Me, Quack Quack." <laughs> All the answers are either Chucky, Ducky, Quack, Quack, Quack. <laughs> He's like, y'all gonna win this one, player. Do you think there's anyone rich? One hundred people. One hundred people oh. were surveyed. Uh, who is a comedian who has the catchphrase Chucky, Ducky, Quack, Quack? One hundred <laughs> ducks were surveyed. <laughs> How do they ask for bread? I'm gonna go with Quack, Quack. <laughs> 100 extras from the film Mighty Ducks were surveyed. Oh my god, <laughs> hilarious. Uh, would you? Um, I would host the Family Feud so fast, by Dude, the way. you know, I, you've heard my... I do a whole Family Feud bit what about the racism in America. It's never clearer than on the show Family Feud with Steve Harvey because they're clearly pitting a white family against a black family yes. every episode. And, 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 you know, spoiler alert for the listeners, Steve Harvey's black. Yeah. He, he didn't give a fuck about that white family. He's a little biased. Yeah, a little He's, biased. He said, yeah. you got you to have a different host, someone who doesn't have a horse in the race. Right. Yeah. I was yeah. like, get Pharrell. Who's that guy from? He looks like the Navi from he, the movie Avatar. <laughs> He does put a little something extra on it when he's uh, serving up the questions oh, to the black family. Brother, you got to, right? yeah. I do, I do a whole bit because I'd watch like, Bill, it. name one thing you mean to put in. He's like, I don't even hear it. Too late. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, the, the Johnson white family. family. Woo-hoo, well, he baby. Is, he is not happy about spending time with them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like code order community service. <laughs> but also, in his defense, the white families usually are not bringing a lot to the table. And that's what no. I... Th- they're you know, they're not, finding no. the just run-of-the-mill... The most triscuity people yeah. on planet Earth. <laughs> it's the triscuits. Yeah, yeah, hilarious. Like, they feed into it. By I the way, say, that I, that would be a better racial insult to white people than crackers. Than cracker, of course, dude. If someone because cl- they're dry, it's also better branding. <laughs> it's better yeah. branding. Let's, yeah, yeah, come on. If we're gonna get yeah. racist, let's have some. Yeah, fucking, yeah it's corporate America, yeah. 2019. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I don't like. On. I don't like. We need do, lobbyists. Yeah, you imagine I don't like Triscuit to do shows with too many Triscuits in the audience. Oh my oh. god, Triscuit, please. <laughs> <laughs> How about Pringle, please? Pringle, please, <laughs> guys. We can say that I'm a Triscuit, dude. Are you the marketing? Mishaps that these... I work in Nabisco. <laughs> I do the Nabisco, Nabisco corporate please. events every year. Yeah, every year I go. Dude, the uh, sponsorship now, they are missing out on uh, br- the dollars. That's is why it, I'm here today to try to reach out to see if anybody wants to get involved. Is it less racist <laughs> if you say Triska? Ooh, and you don't add that hard <laughs> it on the end of it. I don't know. I don't, to be be, honest, I don't feel comfortable. I was going to say. I, I feel like yeah. I can't run for president now. <laughs> That was the equivalent of me <laughs> smelling a woman's hair while I hugged her. Oh, dude. Oh, Joe Biden. Joey B. I love him. Rest Uncle in, B. I know. Rest in peace. Just being, oh. an, just being a weird uncle, dude. Just I love him as Let the weird him uncle. smell ahead. What, yeah, what's, what's bad about ahead. that? You know what? She, what he smelled great, probably. Yeah. I love when someone smells me yeah. and goes, nice. And also, what was he whispering? Like, you know, man, being a kid, soak up all the, the fun that you get to have as a kid. What could he... Possibly, if he had said something really incriminating, these kids would have ran away. Which, by the way, he's known for saying crazy things, but no one's ever been able to be like, gotcha. Like, I it's know, not, it, he's just a crazy uncle. And compilation videos of you smelling heads. You know what he probably good said? I got your nose. <laughs> but he said it like that. <laughs> yeah. I got your nose. He said it like, like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> oh, like Freddy. He's yeah. Like, See? He's like, I got your fucking nose, bitch. Uh, like, uh, Christian, the line is on Batman. <laughs> Don't tell me how to fucking read this. <laughs> Was that, was that Paul Giamatti doing yeah. Christian well, Bale? Well, no, no, Paul Giamatti. <laughs> a lot more gums. <laughs> yeah, you've got the Chardonnay, but I've got your nose. <laughs> you, you, yeah, I am not drinking Merlot. <laughs> I've got your nose. <laughs> now, see, Uncle Giamatti, billions of noses. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's trying to focus on oh, Joe, on Joe Biden, the s- smelling the hair. The thing, the thing that got me was I heard a clip of him uh, speaking from a large congregation of African American people. I'm ready for this. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's. I'm it's, like, are you wearing Carl Kanai? It's cross coat his closer just backwards, but he, it's still a suit. He he tells the large group of African American people that Republicans want to put them back in chains, and it's not. It's not good. Are you serious? <laughs> I'll Whoa. find. I'll find the clip. It, it's not. It's like ooh. It, it's it's not fun. probably true, but don't say it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can you also find the clip and please tell me you saw this? I thought it was clickbait. I clicked on it because it was it was clickbait. Yeah, yeah. And I went. I was thirsty for a headline, and it um, man, it was Trump saying uh, praising the heroes at Seven Eleven instead of Nine Eleven. How 
God, this is the you guys are the fifth and sixth people that I've told this to, and no one's heard this. I'm pulling up Wait, the clip. What? Well, you well because right. I'm not. Well, yeah, I mean, well, but the He's heroes like, of Seven Eleven are all of them. I know, dude. Yeah, it goes without saying. I mean, yeah, because the joke. I mean, there is a joke there about like the guys who you know keep the the pizza bites warm and the um, you know cleaning up the Slurpee machine, oh, dealing with is... all the drunks and bums that come in there. All right. But um, I don't know how Seven Eleven stay open. Well, dude, they're staying real open now with Trump thinking. Yeah. I mean, with their official sponsor. <laughs> but I mean, how do you fuck that up, dude? There's a purple Slurpee heart. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. A lot of people, a lot of people try to get this purple Slurpee heart. I have 10 of them, obviously. A baker's dozen, 69. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. He says a baker's dozen. 69. <laughs> a baker's dozen. <laughs> 69. Wait. Right. Wait, prepare, you... prepare to be uncomfortable. What are here, you doing? Here, here is Uncle Joe Biden. Uh, Joey B. Joey B. Oh, let's see him. Look at their budget and what they're proposing. Romney wants to let the, he said in the first 100 days, he's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. <laughs> oh, boy. When was that? <laughs> oh, God. That was, when he was, that was when he was running against uh, Mitt Romney. So this video is getting re-dug up? Yeah. Oh. Found footage. That's not a good look. Oh, by the way, by the way, can we stop with the found footage stuff? It, it, now we need more videos it. of him smelling heads just to <laughs> offset. Yeah, just to sound like, hey, do you see how many chains videos yet? Uh, yeah, uh, one. Yeah, but one. you hear about the smelling? <laughs> Joe Biden thinks everyone is scratch and sniff. <laughs> he goes, the snozzberries do taste like this. Yeah. Yeah. This little girl just yeah. Veruca Salt. <laughs> yeah. He you know could have avoided thing? that entire thing of just by saying that. And by the way, I'll be telling you something. I I'm just upset that his um his his uh campaign music is Chain of Fools by Aretha Franklin. <laughs> I don't think it's good. And his running mate is Two Chains, and I'm not oh, happy boy. about it. Yeah, I do think it's going to get the African American vote, but it just sends the wrong. Yeah, not, not enough of them that. though. No. Not good. Not not only two to of them. That clip. <laughs> All right. Well, that clip is insane. This one. Yeah. Oh my God. Seven Eleven. Oh God. I think what I want to do. Is I want to talk just for a second. I wrote this out, and it's very close to my heart because I was down there, and I watched our police and our firemen down on 7-Eleven, down at the World Trade Center, right after it came down. And I saw the greatest people I've ever seen in action. Plows through it. The bravest people. I've the bravest people. I saw stoners bang baguettes. <laughs> I saw. I grown, saw slippy. I, I saw, saw the greatest. I saw the most. The most heroic people. There was a crackhead who shat himself all <laughs> over the floor. And you know what he did? He picked it up. He picked, he picked it, it up. It and up. people walked over his shit to get to the grab his cookies. <laughs> I did know. That, by the way, I can't believe he didn't mention immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> do you want Golden me, opportunity. Do you, need, do you need to? I mean, just. And I saw the greatest people I've ever seen in action. I saw the bravest people I've ever seen right after it came down. And I saw the greatest people I've ever seen in Africa because my favorite my favorite part is that he said that he I that I wrote it down. down, on 7 down the World Trade right I wrote it down, down and now and now he's reading it. Right. You know what's funny about that? He's making it seem like the firemen and the policemen were at 7 <laughs> Eleven instead like, of doing he's like, like the greatest people <laughs> taking a break at 7 Eleven. Listen. Try the, the new Pazuki. The <laughs> towers were coming down. These brave people give them a break. So they went and got a donut. <laughs> no, that free free food at Seven Eleven. I mean, there might not be a bigger blunder. That is insane. And when did that come out? Oh, the two days ago. Oh, oh my um, lord! See, but now it, it's just it, it's just such overload to wear. Like, yeah, uh, nothing surprises. Yeah, me. nothing surprises you. And I think we have to go the route that Ukraine went because you because Ukraine just elected a comedian as their president. No joke. I'm okay with that. Straight up, elected a comedian as their president with no... But now, is with, he like a John with, Stewart or like a Carrot Top? He plays the president on a TV show. Oh, so this is like that. Oh, my so God. So this is like if the we elected Dave. Martin Sheen. Yeah. yeah. Or Martin Sheen, yeah. Or Martin Sheen. Yeah. Or wow. Julie Louis-Dreyfus. By the way, yeah. I'm a oh, fan. Ju Julie Louis-Dreyfus? Great. Yeah. I'm I think in. John Stewart, by the way, Stephen I Colbert. I know, dude, would actually I'd vote be for him. really great. Yeah. A lot of people would, actually. I think so. But they just don't want to, dude. No, it's so dirty. All yeah. the all, all the poop slinging. Yeah, dude, they'd be hated. And also, 
like go from a fun job to yeah, a why not drag yourself fun through job. that shit? It's yeah, just, just for the country. I mean, like they right care now, about the country, but yeah, but John Stewart's hanging out at the shop talking with LeBron James. I love that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's fun for him. Now he's got to go do a meeting with Bitten. <laughs> Bitten. <laughs> but he doesn't want that shit. No. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I do want to hang out on the shop if you're listening. Okay. It, well, is that the um, the LeBron, LeBron show? Yeah, it's such a good show. I want to. I mean, I want to be there so bad just for that. Who would be your for for people who don't know, it's a LeBron produced uh, show that's them sitting around the barbershop. and I mean, dude, I think I just watched an episode on the plane that was LeBron. Um, oh boy, Jimmy I, Kimmel's been there. Yeah, Kimmel. Uh, who else was on that one? Um, there was uh, one Bosch, but I mean, uh, film, Spike Lee. Spike Lee. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, just Snoop, like Snoop was on. Snoop, one. Yeah, a, an amazing collection of, of yeah. artists, entertainers. Ad athletes. was on one of them, Anthony Davis, yeah. but he yeah. was just there. Waiting to uh, Simon the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, I thought this was where I go. Yeah, I'm like, are, are you literally signing Lakers into the back of your head? <laughs> yeah, just getting ready. <laughs> Not sure. Guys, I'm undecided. Well, your head isn't. <laughs> Well, let Biden sniff it first. I mean, he goes, he smells like he's going to LA. We got it, Biden. We could have read it. Biden should be a new canine dog. Like, a, like he's head of police. You know what I smell? Yeah. Trouble. <laughs> you put him at the TSA. Him, oh him, you put him at TSA. Him and yeah. Obama. Buddy cop move. Wait, no. What oh, about, come on. I'm in. Come what, on. What do Maybe you think I'm Obama in. is saying right now about when he saw the first head sniffing? Like, I'm going to be, okay, I'll be Biden, all right? And you call me to, Barack's calling Biden to give him a little pep talk about, about how to handle this old head sniffing stuff. Hello? Uh, Hello? Uh, Biden, it's uh, Barack. Uh, Harry. Hey, oh, good, to, good to hear from you. Uh, I saw it on pal? the call. ID. I'm good. I'm good. Just uh, getting ready for uh, the campaign. Uh, you know a little something about that. I, I, I definitely do. Uh, let me be clear. Uh, you gotta... Uh, Sorry, give me one second. Uh, Bernice, bring her in here. Uh, one second, one second. Wait, wait, wait. One no, second. Hold, one hold, second. Hold, yeah, hold. No, how old is she? Perfect. Yeah. Happy birthday, sweetheart. <sighs> it's like a Vicks Vapor Rub commercial over the phone. Listen to me. I uh, I need you to put the old fourteen year old niece just Chanel Zola away. What's going on? Uh, you got to touch the people with your words, uh, not your nose. <laughs> That's good. Can I use that? Uh, absolutely, but uh, don't uh, don't give an example. I don't want to <laughs> see you uh, picking children like cantaloupes and thumping them with your nose uh, like you're at the grocery store trying to see who's ripe and ready and smelly. <laughs> Uh, I'm telling you right now, uh, the best thing I would do is, uh, and by the way, uh, I heard the comment uh, about the shackles. <laughs> and uh, That was a joke. Uh, what, I can't make jokes? About slavery? Uh, no. Oh, uh, boy. I guess it's some yeah, topics yeah, are off limits, huh? Uh, yeah, it's uh, really a, a tight uh, yeah, conservative 2019 we live It in. worked at the ha-ha. Uh, in North Hollywood. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I told you I was at that show, and I lied. <laughs> I sent a guy who looked like me. Oh. And I'm sorry. I was out doing damage control uh, for your campaign. Yeah. I uh, actually said that uh, Joe Biden has no sense of smell, no olfactory <laughs> senses, and he just gets close so he can uh, feel their warmth. <laughs> and I, 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 let me be clear. You need to go forward by saying that you can't smell. And I, we're going to prove good. it That's by uh, we're going to put a, a bag of shit in your face. That's what we call positive spin. Uh, absolutely. I like that. <laughs> good to hear from you, Bear. Yeah. Uh, great to be here. I got to go back. I'm uh, with Michelle. Wait, wait, real quick. Real, real quick. Lean into the phone real quick. Oh. Yes, I am wearing uh, high karate. <laughs> I also have a little Drakkar. Noir. Noir. I <laughs> smelt that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, well, a little Michael there. Jordan cologne in there, too, huh? Uh, yeah, but when he was on the Wizards. <laughs> Very discounted cologne. <laughs> Very it's, discounted. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, it still works. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't cost as much, and it's uh, still great to smell a legend. Yeah. Which is, I actually w pitched... You know I pitched the slogan... I do. ...for Michael Jordan yeah. uh, Wizards cologne. Yeah. It's old, but it's still great to smell a legend. <laughs> That's what I whisper into those kids' ears. <laughs> yeah, Joe. I'm not what? sure. I'm not sure. Oh, what uh, to the ha ha? You're not a legend. Oh boy. Not yet. Uh, well, you got to become famous first. Sure, sure. But uh, for doing things other than shackle jokes and uh, smell hey, children. But hey, if you weren't black, was it funny? I mean, it wasn't funny. All but, right, but uh, it was agree true. To disagree. Yeah. It was true. <laughs> We can agree that it was it was true, and I yeah. absolutely believe. Yeah. I've been to uh, Trump is the only guy I've ever met who had a dungeon. 
Well, uh, hey, sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna three way in my buddy. Uh, hey, M- Mikey Pence. Hi, guys. <laughs> This is my Michael Pence. Just set it up for that. Wow. <laughs> that, uh, you sound a little bit lispy. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. Barry. Good to, uh, well, you guys are hanging out now? Uh, no, we just, uh, we, we, we Skype every now and then. I'm trying to advise him. <laughs> yeah, that's how... the guy you want. Well, you sound like Whatever. you just got out of a butt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, improv stuff. <laughs> I don't know what Mike Pence sounds like. Yeah, so I, 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 just I think went, that that was it. Yeah, I think you it was think, pretty you, close. You, you, you think it was an close. accurate Mike Pence? I I think it was better than I was <laughs> not expecting. Even Glenn Close could get that close to that impression. <laughs> and Glenn Close is close. <laughs> she's not quite there, but she's close. <laughs> Why isn't she just done a show? You that's know, just a play on words. How is she like done in a closer? sitcom called Close Enough? Yeah. <laughs> Or you know what? What if it's a, a woman who can never uh, break and she can never make it? Like she always gets there, but not. It's called close, but no cigar. <laughs> it's her show where in Cuba, <laughs> where she keeps trying to buy the cigar, this tobacco plantation, and then but she, she every year she fails bidding. it off. So yeah. it's like close, but no cigar. <laughs> and they Glenn, say that to her. Yeah, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Glenn Close hosts a alien reality hunting show. Called Close Encounters. Holy shit! <laughs> Love that, Brad. And it's on ESPN three <laughs> of the third kind. <laughs> yeah. We're rich. Sell. Oh We're my god. We're buying that. We woo. We are pitching that. Oh, there's oh a god. there's a Glenn show. Glenn Close okay. is the new spokeswoman for AT and T. You want to make a close call? Not the, bad. <laughs> what if your face, the, the phone looks like Glenn Close? <laughs> what are you making? I'm making a close call. <laughs> it's on a Glenn Close phone? It's like, like, remember how they had like hamburger shaped phones? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. they have a Glenn Close face uh, shaped, uh, her face phone. Like, a, oh, like what was the movie? Uh, Fatal Instinct. Yeah. Yeah. It just has frizzy <laughs> hair for the oh. cord. Dude, why? There's no one in her team that's trying to just so sit trying down to on... make her money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like these are obvious. At some point, you just go, "Oh, she's fine. She's gonna act a couple times a year." But it's like, dude, bre- like you know, think outside the Could, box. Yeah, honestly, it's like I, I, I'm trying to think of she could do anything, and she's pretty famous enough where mm-hmm. I think people would just buy it for the novelty. Oh yeah, Spencer's gifts would be back. I mean, they never <laughs> left, but they'd be back. <laughs> It's gotta be their slogan. Uh, wait, so where? What about what about um, if she's in a she does a, a she's a she's a cartographer, but she only um, does maps of different glens all over, like in Scotland and Ireland, and then all of the maps are signed Glen Close, so you know that she was the cartographer. I mean, a stretch, obviously, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but I'm looking to put money into something, and I don't give a fuck what. This one went fast. Uh, I did a deep dive into your uh, IMDb before you got here. Here we go. Here we easy, go. Pence. Yeah, it was and easy. I did a deep you dive. Were in, yeah, you were deep in a dive. passion play before you were Jewish. <laughs> and I noticed something. And that's you You have played a guy named Chet in two different a productions. A couple times. That's actually 100%. Yeah. What productions? You need a Chet. <laughs> well, Jen, I, my special skills just say Chet. <laughs> He can be a Chet. <laughs> I was in a movie that uh, just came out called uh, All, All the Creatures Were Stirring. It's like an yeah, anthology, a horror film. Oh, yeah. nice. That was uh, a la Twilight Zone, but it was Christmas themed. Um, mm. I, I actually, as a Jew, I couldn't believe we didn't have one Hanukkah beast or something. <laughs> and um, it was just, just a mother in law. Angry cancer. Yeah. 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 A Hanukkah. That's what you, a mother when you don't call. <laughs> and then she's like, why don't you call? <laughs> it's like Friday the 13th, you know, when the guy's off camera. Yeah. And the whole time you just see the shadow of this beast and you realize it's just his mom. <laughs> <laughs> and you can only defeat her by calling her from the Glenn Close phone. <laughs> oh, she, well, it's starring Glenn Close. Yeah. <laughs> she's the mom. She's Hanukkah the mom. Beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. Glenn yeah. Close has Hanukkah beast. Oh my Four. god! How do you, she won't do the first three. She said, "I talked to her agent. You got to if we if a fourth one comes out, she's franchise. in." So we have a race to do the first three super poorly, so we can be like Academy Award nominee. Yes. Glenn Close is oh. Hanukkah Beast. Four. It'll be eight. Four. It'll be eight crazy deadly nights <laughs> of hell. Of hell. <laughs> she's, this is the obvious choice. Yeah. I mean, so now, like, That's will so cool will will you movie. turn down a role if it's Chet no, again, I or, can't. Are, or are you like if it's Chet adjacent? Yeah, Chet like Chut. 
<laughs> There's already a Chet in the movie. So wait, I'm Name playing the brother. Chet and I'm, I'm Chet Walker. <laughs> yeah, Chet's brother, Chet Walker. <laughs> Did you guys even try? And no, it was a typo. But you're already here. <laughs> you're here, buddy. You can. Name, I know. I was running you post. Can name him Andy. Sit down. <laughs> Chet. Chet I'll take the Indian food. Um, that will. He's no. <laughs> Chet is Chutney. So he's the Indian <laughs> foreign exchange. He's like, but he realized I'm also his brother. <laughs> it's like, remember in the movie um, uh, uh, Short Circuit? Yes. When they had that guy who yeah. was white play the Indian oh, yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was horrible. That was, I, I mean, was I thought the movie was great. I thought it was great. I thought yeah, it was pretty great. We could but still do that. that. We can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not like Robert Downey Jr. could. He right. could pull oh. it off. Why yeah. hasn't he tried to just do like every ethnicity? In like a Medea movie? Yeah. <laughs> Medea presents Robert Downey Jr.'s Medea. <laughs> then I would finally watch a Medea. Oh movie. my lord, you'd have to. Yeah. I'd audition for that. Have you <laughs> now? No, full disclosure. Yeah. Has anyone here seen a Medea movie? I, I, I never have. have. Never have. Yeah, we are so white. We are, are, have you? We are hum- such no, kids. I got close once. <laughs> I got close once, and then I realized I walked close? into the wrong theater. <laughs> The, the credits came up and it was like hello, and I'm like, no, I'm saying it. This ain't it. Uh, now, th- now you've played Chet twice now, but do you think you're as famous as the most famous Chet, which is Tom Hanks's son, Chet Hanks? Well, clearly not. <laughs> I think any Hanks is uh, more famous than me. Wait, wait. Their do, dog, wait, Terrence do, Hanks. Wait, do Tom Hanks telling his son Chet Hanks that there's a guy out there playing who's Chet, about who, Chet? Who's, uh, Chet, come in here. Come on. Hi, what the, you're, I'm trying to get you jobs. There's a lot of chats. There are a lot of chats, but you're the only one that counts. He's like secretly a dick. Yeah. He's like a football dad. <laughs> if you don't get this chat roll, you're not my son. You are not. He's like the father from every Friday Night Lights. <laughs> if you don't make, you're not team. a Hanks. <laughs> you're not a chat. You're a chut. Oh god. <laughs> This fall, this. Tom Hanks finally shows us the side we knew was deep beneath. Get that camera out of my face! <laughs> <laughs> when his son Chet doesn't live up to Chet expectations. Oh. To Chet expectations. <laughs> oh, unreal. Dad, I'm the best Chet. Yeah. Oh, you're the best Chut. <laughs> Chad, why don't you support me as I'm trying to be the best Chet I can be? Well, that's hard acting like that. <laughs> Exa- Tom Hanks is an exasperated, <laughs> disappointed father. Maybe it's just something simple like Dick Dad, D- yeah, Dickhead Dad. Yeah, right? It's it's not even Tom Hanks. It's just like why, why, why weren't you a chat man's chat's friend? Uh, I would love to hear Tom Hanks uh, do evil, truly evil things that the real Tom Hanks would never do. So, like, let's say Tom Hanks. Uh, Okay, they had that woman at Coachella that like threw a bunch of puppies in a dumpster or something. Did you read that story? No. Yeah, it was a horrible thing. They caught her and they saved the puppies. Okay, so that's good. Was it Cruella Deville? I mean, <laughs> I mean <laughs> Glenn Close. Is that not, it's Glenn, Glenn Close? Glenn Close at Coachella. Hashtag so, Coachella. Hashtag Glenn Close. So let's have Tom Hanks throw some puppies in a dumpster. Well, oh hi there, kid. Hi there, cute. Come here. <laughs> oh, come here. Oh. I got, I'm going to pick you up. Oh, you got a fat little belly. And here you go into the trash compactor. <laughs> oh, we have too many of you. There are just, it's overpopulation. I mean, sure, you're cute, but there's no food. Well, would you rather starve? Would you rather starve? <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of other horrible things Tom Hanks could do. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I voted for Trump. <laughs> That's, that's a guy that could be president. This guy, dude, that's my whole bit. Yeah, my bit is that Republicans and Democrats doesn't matter what side of the you know you're on. Everyone loves Tom Hanks. Everybody, dude. And he's he's. You think really Republicans smart. do love him? Yeah. Yes. You yeah, know why? Because he's a war hero. Ah, so oh, I say man, Tom yeah. Hanks has been in more wars than any other American in the history of this great country. <laughs> I mean, he's probably been in all of them. All the war, war, every war, <laughs> right? Like, and I've, he's been in space. I mean, Gump, my God, Gump. Gump. Uh, he did Private Ryan. He did. He did Band of Brothers. Oh yeah, That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, Philadelphia. He went to war for for the, uh, for the little man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was in the original The Gay Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it was very anti-gay. That movie. Um, it was yeah. great. You know, he yeah. was in uh in in the in the old show Bosom Buddies. He went to. He was a cross-dressing war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
He's done it all. He's, he really been, has. He, he has been a champion of everyone. The, the, the only thing he hasn't done is played a dwarf, and I hope he never does. Well, what if they CGI his, fall. his face? <laughs> his fall. Tom Hanks is now Tom Thumb Hanks. <laughs> The beloved childhood classic like you've never seen <laughs> From it before. the people who brought you Dwarf in a Drawer. <laughs> Peter Dinklage wasn't available, but we don't give a shit because we got T-Money Hanks. <laughs> Comes Hanks in the hangar. <laughs> he's just, he's, he's just, he's too short to fly a plane. <laughs> Hanks in the hangar. A airplane hangar. Come on, guys. He has these huge wooden blocks on. He's like two kids in a trench coat trying to get into an R-rated movie. <laughs> At the end, he's like, will he fly the plane? <laughs> and oh, I can't yeah. reach it. I can't reach it. <laughs> and I'm just protesting the premiere like, I was available. And people are you like, could have cast me. There's just there's a ton of dwarfs like with just your <laughs> signs. Well they, well, they wouldn't be picket signs. They'd be three by five cards. Index. There you go. <laughs> on toothpicks. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what's the prep like, prep like for a horror movie? Do you, uh, did you have to get killed? I mean, like, what was, <laughs> w- were you taking that, the work home with you? Were you, like, during, like, at the shoot, was it all, like, lighthearted, or were you pretty, uh, was I was trying intense? to make it lighthearted, be, but um, it was, the, the problem with this one, in terms of, like, my preparation was, they, it looks amazing, but at the time, they didn't know, it's based off of a Dickens of Christmas Carol, so I was the Ebenezer Scrooge character. Oh, awesome, okay. And, yeah, it was cool, and they had a lot of special effects that come into play when you see the movie that look amazing. But at the time, they weren't really sure what exactly that they were going to do or not. Right. So I was imagining sort of things that might be there or not. Oh, did you have to do that thing where like you have to look at a tennis ball? So and that was a, there, a lot. A, there was a lot yeah. of stuff like that where they were like, it's going to be right here. And uh, and you're like, what is? They go, we're not sure. Oh, and, um, you just did a bunch of versions? Yeah. Or? Well, no. Well, we sort of knew the, this story. And I think they were going to animate to the best like I think they hadn't decided on the special effects person yet. Yeah. I mean, it worked out incredible. But there's yeah. one scene when I'm in the uh, talking in the mirror, and um, I'm looking like I'm something's wrong, and then I turn, and the mirror doesn't turn. So I'm talking to myself in the mirror, and they, it, it was a, one of those cameras that was specifically designed for that. But they oh, wow. we were, we weren't sure how it was going to turn out, and yeah. the, the, when it was on a track and it was moving, it was like. Ooh. So we had to go back in and ADR everything. Oh, shit. But it looks yeah. incredible. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, how can people find this movie? It's on YouTube. YouTube keeps trying to get me to buy it. <laughs> um, and so that's uh, uh, the YouTube Red then, probably? Yeah. Or, and, there, yeah and there's the also... It's on um, a few th- streaming platforms. I, uh, I can't right. remember. We had the premiere. It came out in December, like right around Christmas time. Yeah. And that's this awesome. is All the Creatures Were Stirring. Yeah, it was cool. It was, And I love horror movies so much. I always want it. Every time there's, really? a, there's a reboot yeah. of something, I always want to be in it. Yeah. Favorite horror movie? Uh, Scream. Oh, so just like the OG. I love Scream. Yeah. Dude, I, I'm going to I'm going to second that. That that movie's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, and the and the and the fact that it mocks a genre while being true to the genre. And it brought a, the genre back. I yeah. mean, that one that did so well in the theaters. I feel like people were like, "Oh, it's back." Hey, yeah. We don't get a Jeepers Creepers. Oh, without a scream. Jeepers Creepers 2, <laughs> still creeping. <laughs> and it's just a guy like doing they, dance moves. They kind of jumped the start, the, 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 the shark. Ducky, when they did quack, quack. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers 3, back to the hood. That was. Well, when they always yeah. go to the hood, that's jumping the shark. <laughs> like Leprechaun 4. Oh, yeah. Like, you don't it, think I know Leprechaun the, oh, 4? Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Warwick Davis. Come when on. I see those movies, they, like the first one had Jennifer Aniston in it. Yeah. yeah. Big hit. Yep. Um, probably came out around uh, St. Patty's Day. Mm-hmm. Maybe there was a tie-in with the Shamrock Shake. Not sure. <laughs> but the fact that people were like, that every holiday needs a horror movie, yeah. and this is it. There was one where he's in space. W- was that, that Leprechaun? Yes. Was that Leprechaun or was that Jason? No, that's both. Oh, okay. I cause... just watched Jason X the other day on TV. Which is the worst, it... best movie So he ever. gets cybernetic at the end. Yes. But only for like... Uh, if you if you take like a quick dump, you miss it. <laughs> like he gets, they blow him out, and like they the robot like blows him away. The other robot, this yeah. like cyborg, or no, she's a full robot. And then he they um he gets uh into a machine that sort of rebuilds him, so he's half dead thing and half robot. But then he dies almost instantly. Yeah, Sorry like, to ruin it if you haven't. Uh, yeah, boy, Jason X. Uh, but yeah, but you want to see more. He was a more, ghost the whole time. Yeah, you want to see more cyborg Jason X, dude. 
That's the only part. And the acting, if you can believe it, is terrible. And um, <laughs> what about the paranormal uh, movies? You like those? I l- love those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those started with, I think, with Blair Witch, the, the found oh, yeah. footage. That yeah. movie was incredible. I saw in the theaters. Me too. Yeah. And, and, and it was and, so. And this was a time before the internet. So we, I remember like. Thought it was real. Yeah. Well, they, real, you know, they real. pitched it as real. It premiered 20 years ago. I was at Sundance this year and they had a, they had a, a sign up. 20 years ago this year it premiered at Sundance I in 99 love that. and yeah. they and they it was actually, a huge hit right it was huge especially for what it cost yeah yeah and they pitched it as we're just going to release this found footage that we have as a movie cuz this is like before the internet so no one's really like doing a deep dive <clears throat> no, they used no. all unknowns i remember yeah. doing it was perfect parodies yeah. um like little sketches for our sketch show in high school of like with the camera framing it, your eye just in the corner with oh the my, light, yeah. and like oh that was a famous scene, putting yeah. water in our eyes real yeah. quick, and then being like, "Quick, start filming," you know, because nobody could muster tears. No, <laughs> that woman though, I wonder how many takes they did. Right? Yeah, right. What was the was there a ghost or an entity? What was the thing that they were running from? It was just like so, a, uh, I, was I, the, the I nothing was from the Never Blair Ending Witch. Story. I believe it was the Blair Witch, but then they did oh. the second one, Book of Shadows. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, where 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 they like chase after the Blair Witch, like it's like people that are sp- yeah, but supposed yeah. To they were supposed to be Blair Underwood, yeah, <laughs> and um, <laughs> that Blair Underwood owns that forest, yeah, <laughs> and he was off shooting a Tyler Perry movie, so they were uh, making <laughs> statues of him. With so twigs. it was another guy yeah. named Blair Witch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but you know what's crazy? They did a sequel. And they were like, you know what was amazing about the first one? That it was found footage? Fuck yeah. that. We're going to make a regular movie called <laughs> right. Book of Shadows. And I saw part of that and I was like, no, this is dumb. This yeah. is no yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Paranormal, all that stuff, that's all still found footage. Yeah. It all yep. is still, that, this is scary. I mean, I love going Just to theaters. well produced, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and seeing that with a group of people. You have to, because the, the, the like jumping out of your seat like, yeah. with people is uh, it's awesome. part of the experience. Yeah. Because if I you love just watch it at home, you get genuinely terrified. Brother, the movie The Strangers, where mm-hmm. they, with Liv Tyler, where they they hunt they they terrorize those uh, her and uh, S- uh, Scott uh, yeah and they're, they they have masks yeah and they, like, they, like white come bags to their house. yeah yeah and they and they come and they come to their house well that's what paranormal activity got because nothing is scarier than your home right because that's your safe space right so you and so you, you superimpose can, anything right. on your own like I remember um, when I watched. Uh, I always thought that was the freakiest thing. Like, even though I do think the woods is probably a good spot for uh, for Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many people don't go to the woods? Yeah. You know, it's like there aren't as they, everyone is white in yeah. the first like two or three movies. Yeah. You know, mm. that was like a and that was such a specific thing that like um, uh, upper middle class white kids went to summer camp or away camp right yeah and that's like, like but for an older generation like they can't they didn't do that shit it's not familiar mm-hmm. location but you yeah. right but you go to nightmare on elm street that's the, your home the, the, your home and you yeah. everyone goes to bed <laughs> everyone sleeps you think, that, <clears throat> you think there's a location that hasn't been tapped for a horror movie that would be like a cruise ship or a yeah there was one it was called ghost ship it's uh, a real movie. For real? I thought you were going to say... Um, Speed 2? No, no, I thought you were going <laughs> to say... Cruise Control? What's, what's the cruise movie with uh, with Cuba? Gooding oh, Jr.? A, boat cru- a Boat Trip. A Boat Trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the original. That was a horror movie on a yeah, cruise. It was... <laughs> God bless that guy. I don't hold that against him because, hey, man, you won an Oscar right before that. Oh, dude. Everybody... Yeah, the follow-ups on most people's I think he Oscars. got paid yeah. for that movie. Oh, sure And that's did. why he did it. Well, but sure. also, wasn't... like The cast, I don't feel like, is bad. It was a... Uh... Oh come on! It was gotcha, Hor- gotcha. Horatio Sands. Save your brain. It was Horatio Sands. I think was in it. Really? Yeah. There, it, I, I want to say Beyonce. But I want to say Beyonce too. <laughs> Let's just say it together and see how it feels. Beyonce. Beyonce. If we say it three times, she appears. <laughs> well, hurry up! No, oh, no. <laughs> if we say it four times, the movie just starts playing on all TVs. <laughs> Stop so, it! It's three. Just, that's the horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> just the horror. Trip, just I'm like, I'm, I'm, turn it off. I'm not, I don't have the control, man. And if you know the other two um, Destiny's Child singers, and if you can say their names, then it'll turn then, off. Right, that's that's the curse goes away. <laughs> no one knows them, though. They're all no. like, I think one of them's a Michelle. I'm like, Aonce and Seance. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> Th- that's like the ghost story, though. Seance. <laughs> the, <laughs> the ghost of... The Ghost of Bay Witch. Uh, Boat Trip, the film, has a Wikipedia page. Oh, of course yeah, it Yeah, you know who did it? Who? Cuba Gooden Jr. <laughs> Get on the internet. Um, come on. Oh, come on, internet. With the cast. Can somebody else pull it up? I'll try it. Hold on. And then, uh, well, well, as I'm pulling this up, 
Are you now sad that tax season is over because your H and R Block commercial? A little going? bit, I am. Yeah, that thing was playing like gangbusters. What H and R Block commercial? Um, it was me as a guy who was talking to the screen of. Uh, oh computer. wait, I did see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was so. There was they shot something like eight of them, but Oof. but mine. And an, and an one or two more were the original three. So we got started. They started so they to play start playing us. playing them the most. Literally January 1st, I got so many texts. I sent out the text like Happy New Year to yep, everybody. Hope yep. everybody's good. People responded with just saw you on a tax commercial. Whoa. So it was for four straight months. That's awesome. But, and then I then there were some other ones because I actually had a couple. Uh, I knew some people that were in the other spots, which was, which was dope that we all sort of booked it. But some of them, they didn't start playing until the very end. So I they I guess they might have shot us all I guess and we're yeah. like hot we want to stagger them out yeah, yeah but there was a couple there there was a um a, a man and wife uh, uh who uh, husband and wife who th- mine and theirs were like the first two and they just played the entire time that's dope yeah yeah right. anyone hit you up that you just hadn't heard of in years or heard from guys I owe money <laughs> like well yeah. my accountant yeah, yeah. <laughs> my accountant's like oh so you're cheating on me yeah. Uh, yeah. Block. Uh, all right, Turbo we have, and then trying to undercut the money. <laughs> we have we have the cast. We have Cuba Gooden Jr. We have Horatio Sands. We have Rosalind Sanchez. Don't know. Don't know her no. Now prepare to feel racist. Not Beyonce. Vivica A. Fox. Prepare to be racist. No, prepare to be uh, impressed. Impressed because <laughs> she was probably doing a great Beyonce impression. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm then, excited. And then here here's the one where you go, oh son of a bitch, James Timothy B- Dalton. <laughs> Very close, because Timothy it, Wakefield, it, 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 <laughs> not the pisser for Timothy the Boston. Chalamet. Yeah, not, damn it, Tiny Tim. Not Timothy Dalton, but Timothy Dalton played James Bond, and you know who you know who else played James Bond? Who was in this fucking movie? Not Pierce Brosnan, Connery, Roger Moore. Oh, no wow. way, Roger Moore. We all got the wrong Bond. <laughs> yeah, we're all like Roger. Oh yeah, I guess he did. Yeah. Bond, wrong Bond. <laughs> that's the guy who tries, That's what he says to you when you're trying to get your yeah. savings bonds hey. cashed. <laughs> He, he's a bounty hunter for, for, a, for a bondsman. <laughs> you owe me bonds. Wrong, <laughs> wrong bonds. <laughs> wrong bonds is the worst fucking porn star name of all time. Wrong bonds. <laughs> James Bondage. Bondage. James Bondage. You know, I thought you were going to say, uh, I thought you were going to name every Bond but him. <laughs> yeah. We're like George Lazenby. <laughs> there. He was just Bond one the time. Ghost of Roger Moore's like it was me. I'm like, ah, hold on a second, pal. Yeah, yeah. Give Dismiss me a, a ghost. <laughs> swipe left. Up. Ghost swipe, dismissal. Swipe. Yeah, who's in that? <laughs> Jeff Bridges. Roger. Oh, oh, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, ghost. <laughs> All right, That's just the tagline. Speaking, yeah. <laughs> speaking of Jeff Bridges and then previously commercials, he uh, oh, brought God. back the dude. I know. And then drank a Heineken. Instead of a instead, oh, instead of, of a white, white Russian. Russian, yes, yeah, that was weird. Which well, I also, just think... you know that Heineken. Speaking of James Bond, yeah, w- Daniel with uh, Dan Craig, they they tried to make that the drink. Yeah, where it's like, no, he's a martini. Yeah, he's a, a, always always has a martini. James always Bond ha- is not always a beer be. drinker, right? He just man, they must have thrown the bank at at Bridges, huh? Oh yeah, like, I mean, to be like, yeah, let's yeah. have that game show. Throw the bank at Bridges. Because I mean, I'm sure yeah. he would just. Was... What, how much will it cost to get him to endorse something? <laughs> Depends on uh, how high he is. Yeah, Ooh, dude. I mean, I'm gonna I bet say we him. could get him to endorse Q-tips for one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. All right, we're gonna throw the bank at Bridges. Jeff, will you endorse Q-tips for one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars? Uh, what's a Q-tip, man? <laughs> I think you clean your ears with. <clears throat> I do it with uh I just do it with a rag. <laughs> All right, well you endorse rags? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not much thought into it. Uh whatever, man. <laughs> Can I get a refill? <laughs> I do think what the commercial cuz didn't it uh, air for a few days, right, without Super Bowl. And it was teasing, right? Yeah. It was like yeah, it, it, it was like There was no the, Heineken in the yeah, initial it's commercial. Yeah, like the dude's coming back and yeah. Then, yeah, and, and, and a lot of people thought it was yeah. a movie. Yeah, why, why, why wouldn't you? That was I just feel like I was lied to, movie, to. Dude, you still look. He hasn't aged like he's amazing at all. Really, like, and he's become more that character I as know, a human. I know. Man. Like you hear him in interviews. I know. Or like when they did a panel. When I can't remember what movie. Uh, oh, it was um, shit. He just did a, a pretty big movie. Oh, uh, 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 the inner the circle. What is it? The uh, Kingsman. 
Oh, okay. The Kingsman, they did it at Comic Con. Yeah. And I, I saw it. And so, you know, a lot of guys are in it and, uh, you know, pretty big actors. Yeah. But he came almost just dressed as the dude, <laughs> and people were asking him big Lebowski questions. Yeah. You, you know, a, a year or two ago. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's it, no doubt his most famous movie. Absolutely. Listen, I don't care if, if they make Spider Man black or if Thor is a woman. I don't give a shit about that. But the dude has to drink a white Russian. And I, Bond has to drink a martini. It's weird. It, he, it's not even like another cocktail. Like, he's yeah. not even doing, like, a liqueur, like Kahlua. <laughs> he's doing he's doing a, uh, a Dutch beer. <laughs> There's nothing less Dutch and beer than the dude. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I think in the ad it had, like, Sarah Jessica Parker, instead of drinking a Cosmopolitan, yes. she, drank, she, she drinks a Heineken. Right, it did. And it, it just, like, I, I get what they were trying to do, but it just made me more upset. Like, well, it just is like it's. I wonder how much they because also I can't. Ima- I mean, I guess maybe he had to get permission from the Cohen brothers to do that. No, because mm-hmm. they technically own the right. And same with Darren Star or Michael Patrick King own the rights for uh, Carrie Bradshaw. Oh, yeah. oh wow! So I'm. I, it's just like it. I don't know. I mean, who else was I? Who's who else has an iconic drink? Ooh, uh, Dr- Dracula has blood. Nice. Good call. So if yeah, like, call. so if like Dracula drinks a Heineken, and be like, no, dude, you're a vampire. Uncle Dracula, bloodlight. <laughs> Uncle Dracula. That's like a that's a character I'm doing. Uh, Uncle Dracula. Uncle Dracula. <laughs> he's like not that informed. That's I'm a sure. great commercial, by the way. Like Dracula, he's finally over blood, and he wants a bloodlight. He has a comb over, and, and <laughs> he's, but he's somebody brings him a bloodlight, and he's like, no blood light. You know, and yeah, he's like, like oh, he no, light. Yeah. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, that's his red beer. Oh, oh I tomato see. juice and Bud Light. Wow, blood Micheladas. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Who? Else, yeah. Who else has a famous drink? Any? Um, any? Any pop stars known for? Well, yeah. Uh, I guess gin and juice, right? Snoop. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Laid back. Well, uh, Tupac had a thug passion. Oh yeah. Now and Fifty I, I, Cent or no Nelly had a uh, pimp juice. Yeah. Fifty said had uh, had vitamin, vitamin water, water. <laughs> and made a crap ton of money on that. Yeah, one. Michael and Gatorade, a hundred. Yeah, right. Now, if you're if you're Michael Jordan, could, do you have to order a Gatorade everywhere you go? Honestly, I don't know a place that serves Gatorade. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, uh, what do you want to drink, Michael? I'm gonna get two Jack and Cokes and a Gatorade. Uh, this is a bar, Michael. We uh, <laughs> they had a, we don't have <laughs> thirst quenchers. They, now they ha- we have all sport. <laughs> yeah. They, they, this this is a crazy thing, but uh, so uh, August Bush, who's like the great grandson of the original Anheuser Busch, yeah, ever. yeah. So uh, wherever that's a he great goes, porn star name, August Bush <laughs> on the calendar. Who it's comes? Up. Who's after July? August Bush. <laughs> <laughs> who's in September? Wrong Bond. <laughs> Wrong Bond. <laughs> Wrong Bond, aka Wrong. James Bondage. <laughs> August <laughs> Bush has a cooler of Budweiser products, literally everywhere he goes. <clears throat> So like whenever he needs one, he's I'm got sure. it. Because if he's ever photographed like drinking a Coors or anything else, oh yeah, else, you can't. It's done. Yeah, yeah. So like he like he like, like the cooler shows up before he does. I'm sure, but it's do like the people football know what he president. looks like. No, no one does. No. So but like people that's... don't think like, hey, that's the heir to the bush fortune. They think <laughs> that guy's a drunk. <laughs> like we're at a quinceanera. He's got to <laughs> drink that. He's got to drink that. Wait, he's in church and someone just dropped off a cooler full of Budweiser yeah, products? Is he pouring it on that baby's head? <laughs> <laughs> Baptized no. in Bud. You know what? They had a, a Gatorade buffet. Well, have we seen you since the um, uh, no. All-Star game? I haven't seen you since the movie. I mean, I've seen you around, yeah. but, I, but since we did that in, yeah. in, in September. Yeah, the Bellman. I am annoyed as your friend yeah. that you guys were in the All-Star game. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm happy for you. Dude, I've heard that from multiple people. Yeah. But at least you like oh. got you know can show some... Human. I texted you and uh, I was like, "Holy yeah. shit!" Some human, actual like excitement. Like I had legit friends, good friends that were just like, well, "Don't get injured, man," and don't, like, like making jabs because they were so jealous. And I was like, "I get it, man." Like I probably guys who be- are coming up in the comedy game who that you're really doing the same type of comedy, and like they're like, "Break a leg, Adam!" Yeah, literally. <laughs> Well, Jeff Die was looking at Adam Ray. Oh, like, oh little, how did Jeff you... Die get tickets? Yeah. <laughs> he just has a leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, sir, you can't bring in this mannequin he, leg. Je- oh, I'm doing it. Jeff did tell me. Uh, we were both in Minnesota last week, and he was like, nice. he was like, that was. He's like, I don't get jealous, man. He's like, but that was the 
first time I was literally like, yeah. man, fuck Adam and Brad. <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah. <clears throat> but All they, the other success you've received yeah. doesn't even on his radar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you know okay. I was in the heat. <laughs> But they had like a, you know I have multiple specials yeah, on like, Showtime. Yeah, it's like, nah, I don't care. I don't give a shit. No, they had care. a Gatorade buffet though in oh, the locker room, like did. all bars and drinks and like. Do you understand the, um, how much more you're going to be hated right now? Yeah, <laughs> Roger like, Moore hated. That, yeah. <laughs> they had products that like Gatorade puts out that you that you would never buy yourself. Yeah, did they what Gatorade they? gum or candy? Yes, yes it's one did. of my favorites. Is it the chews? I love it. Yeah. I had the chews, and then everyone's yeah. like, I would never buy this, but yeah. I'm like, oh, it's here. I'm stuffing my backpack with Gatorade. Gatorade Gold Bond. It's like oh, it's <laughs> all it's like icy cucumber and icy <laughs> strawberry. Gatorade chastity belts. Yeah, those don't work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Quench your thirst for pussy. <laughs> it doesn't work. No, Gatorade chastity belts. Is it in you? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's a real thing. <laughs> It's got the lightning. Uh, I gotta say it. this one thing about the Gatorade ad that's going on right now with um with, uh, with Gabrielle Wade. Union yeah. oh, and, D-Wade, and, and yeah. D-Wade. Just racing on a treadmill. Let me just say this though. Oof, Does boy. anybody think and by the way, Gabrielle Union is in incredible shape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a three time NBA champion. He's an elite athlete. He is arguably top five shooting guard of all time oh, in the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does, does I'd put anybody him in there. thinking that he's that that she's Struggling. winning unless yeah. she's like doping? <laughs> I know, dude. Like, it's just such a weird climate that we live in. I think yeah. they just That's want the... to get the uh, their, you know, relationship. Of course, and, and take but it's just like and... I always think like, it, and Dwayne Wade, by the way, he's not having like. Um, a last season where people are like, "Damn, is D-Way still playing?" Like, no. that's not the season he yeah, had. No, it's, it's not it's, Jordan on the Wizards. No, it, it, that, exactly. Oh, he could keep playing. Yeah, he he could. keep doing this. Yeah. If yeah. he if he was a sixth man, he could play another three four years. I know. Easy. Why isn't he? Well, a lot of those guys do it. Like Carmelo, right? Like, look at where the Rockets are now. And all they did was all the Rockets had to do was get rid of him. <laughs> like that's what a car boot. Yeah, he was on the wheel that was that operation. You like, don't have to add how many, another player. Like, Just who get did you rid add? Of him. Well, we add not Carmelo Anthony. Well, that's wow. good. That's like a negative number. It's like yeah. what if we added negative Carmelo? Perfect. He's no. not going to get back in the league, is he? No, not unless not it's that. big league chew, see, <laughs> which he's now the spokesman for. <laughs> that is, and see, so I guess that's your point, right? To go out on your own terms yeah. in the city you started in, because look, he could go to another. Uh, his jersey is going to get retired. Though. If the yeah. Heat was good, if they were, if, if they were made playoff the playoffs, contender. he might. And but actually, we're going to make a run. Maybe he'd come back, right? But but otherwise, what are you going to attach yourself to the Rockets and then? Go back to the Heat for one more year and then yeah. be dog shit. S- sign one of those bullshit one day. I was going to say, what are you, Carl Malone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who was on the Lakers that oh, last year? What yeah, a just bummer, trying, yeah. trying to get that championship. I felt so bad. I mean, because I love. They were unbe- people forget that team was like seventeen and four, and then Malone got injured, and then Shaq got injured, and then Kobe. Mm, who else got injured? A lot. Know. Almost everybody did, and then it was just, and then they, they still and then managed to the finals. Yeah, couldn't win. Fuck, lost to the better team. And I'm a and did they, fan they lose to uh, the Pistons. The Pistons, Pistons. I thought, and that was them. 04, ben, 04. Ben Wallace and uh, Ben Wallace and Rasheed Wallace. Yeah, it was unbelievable. John C. Billups. Yeah. Uh, Tayshawn Prince and uh, Rip Hamilton. I watched it's that unbelievable. Pacers Pistons brawl at least twice a month just to remind myself how fun sports used to be. Uh, well, um, are you watching the Are you watching the playoffs now? Yeah. yeah. With Dudley. Oh, it's oh, great. I, oh, I, I love, love it. And Westbrook and Lillard, dude. Oh my! I was just and that's what I wanted to ask you because, like, like you miss. Like you hear all the older players talk about how much you know rougher the NBA was, and yeah. it was, and it, you know you want to go even further back to the '80s and late '80s. I mean, guys, literally. I mean, Bill Lambeer, you know, uh, choking them out, choking people, oh, yeah. and, and and tackling them to the ground. Kevin McHale clotheslining Kurt Rambis. Yeah, but oh, now yeah. like these guys, like it's all the shit talking, and then the no one they know they're going to get fined or injured. So when somebody runs up to somebody to get in their face, yeah. they. They their body weight they they make themselves pull back so they just get in the face and I, and when I watch it I'm just like you're all a bunch of pussies well because you know what, you know what James no Harden one looks to... like and I'm a fan of his basketball that step back is like mm-hmm. the sky hook it's almost unguardable oh it is yeah it's like for and him to do it like because Jordan was obviously great for the fadeaway yeah. but Harden is doing it at such a distance where his momentum is throwing him back and he's left handed yeah. 
So, it, I mean, you know, people just psych, you know, psychologically, if, that's why Zion Williamson and RJ Barrett are going to be such good NBA players on top of the unbelievable athleticism. They're both left handed. Yeah. So the thing about James Harden is, though, he looks like a bad stunt actor from a Steven Seagal film <laughs> in the late 80s. Yeah. Because, like, if someone grazes his beard, and that's yeah. going to be the documentary about his flopping called Grazing the Beard. <laughs> He will throw his head back, but mm. I'm like, there's no way that you have nerve endings in your beard. No. <laughs> but but when they show it on the slow-mo cam, right. they are close to his yeah. face yeah. or his skin. I know. And the thing is, is you can't you, you you can't really be a good flopper unless you have like crazy long hair. Cause then you get that then you get that effect. It looks yeah of like but Steven, all the hair flows. But Steven back. Adams ain't a flopper. No. That guy's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. He was a character in Lord of the Rings. People don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many Urukai that guy beat? <laughs> He's from New Zealand. He is from New Zealand. That's right. Right. Um, are you a Game of Thrones watcher? I just... are you a wheel watcher? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I got. I watched the first two seasons back in the DIY, and now I have. I took a break. I just was like, I wasn't around, and now I've watched. I've started to watch this new season. And great. I uh, have so seen fifteen minutes of the first episode, and that's it. You haven't seen these new episodes? No, but I've seen Which Designing means... Women seasons one <laughs> through six. Oh, can I tell you something? Yeah. Game of Thrones, not as good. <laughs> I will say this. Game of Thrones has gone on so long. It, it, it's, sort of be, it's sort of become... Johnny, pull this down a little bit. It's yeah. sort of become a bad weatherman. Yeah. Like winter's coming, and you're like, when? <laughs> no, it's coming. It's coming. Is that what the whole show is based around? Yeah. Winter's coming? Just yeah. Just winter. It's about the, the yeah. That's literally it. <laughs> no. So no, the no, show no, no. takes place no, in a never-ending summer. Yeah. Will Smith would no, love the show. Fall. Yeah, it's, it's fall. It's it's an Indian coming. summer. Oh, it's I forgot how seasons work. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but the, the, yeah. The summer is even longer. It's so long. <laughs> it destroyed autumn. <laughs> That's what it's about global so warming. So, Thank you. you. You have watched it. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Summer so, is here. Winter's coming. That's just like a back to what school sale. To fall? <laughs> At Target. That's all this show Winter's is. Winter's coming, so you need to be prepared. <laughs> Dude, what, Game of Thrones and Target should team up. The, well, the Oreos did. They made Game of Thrones Oreos. Did they? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what's different about them? What? Nothing. <laughs> You know what's different about them? The price. <laughs> oh yeah, for tastes sure. Like, tastes like incest. I was, yeah, good for <laughs> That's what the hey, white cream spoiler. is. Oh, okay, okay. House of Stark. Quit they should come up with cookies o- for me. They should have come up with Oreo minis and had it been um, Peter Dinklage's character. <laughs> come on, come on. Missed opportunities. Oh, dude. Glenn Close, Game of Thrones cast. Get on this. Come on. They, you are the true Cookie Monster. What? They, uh, now that, wait. That's the. That's the. Uh, what's the? The king. What's his name? <laughs> Which one? The White King. Oh, the 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 Night King. The Night King. Yeah, but he's really white. <laughs> it's based off Trump. Hilarious. <laughs> Winter is Listen, coming. That's the name. Of, that's Trump's new campaign slogan. Winter is coming. <laughs> She'll get your double stuffed Oreos. She'll get your double stuffed Oreos. <laughs> Wait, uh, is um is is it pitch pitch the show to a guy that doesn't watch it? Okay, and why I should watch it. All right. Well, why my life's gonna be better? Why I'm gonna give up hours of my day and night? So, uh, Adam, you ever wanted to have a bigger penis? Yeah, sure. Not possible. But here's what's gonna be good. <laughs> but here is something that is. Uh, do you yeah. like boobs? Yeah. There's a lot of boobs. A lot in this of boobs. Show. A lot of boobs. Yeah, but I heard you say incest earlier. Yeah. A, lot of incest, a lot of incest, but more well. boobs. But more boobs than incest. How the much boobs incest in- boobs? The boob to incest ratio is pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh, it's worth it because I like my boobs. Uh, sans incest. <laughs> well, this ain't the show for you. No, you're not gonna like the show. I think we just lost him. <laughs> I like my boobs incest free. Ooh, not sugar free. Incest, incest free. free. Then, then you should. Then might I suggest porn? <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. It's like the idea. It's a world that pretty much exists like um, the Dark Ages. And there are there is some magic, but most of the things are rooted in reality. I don't mind magic. Mm-hmm. No, no, but it's not enough where... It's not Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Um, so it's a little disappointing where I'm people... Are, yeah, where they don't throw cards <laughs> that say, I know, but, Rick, but Rick I Glassman's spelled your troll. Yeah. I spelled your troll. It's like, yeah, but my troll has an anti-spell it's- spell. <laughs> And he goes, but he can't spell because he's illiterate, illiterate troll. <laughs> he can't this spell fall, illiterate, illiterate troll. troll. <laughs> you can't spell fun without troll, but he doesn't know that. Seth Rogen is can't. the troll. I'm under a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> this bridge is amazing. Oh, shit. Seth Trollgen. <laughs> 
Guys, he, is he a real person? Just use his name. We already printed the posters. You've already printed the... We haven't written the script yet. We don't even have Seth. We've got to get him. We've got to get him Vince now. Vaughn as the brave knight who fights the troll. Hey, uh, hey, troll, come here for a second. Hey, troll, get over here. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> I'm not going to go. You're so much bigger than me. I'm going to smoke you out. <laughs> Plays at Magic the Gathering. Guys, we don't have a li- li- license to use that card. Why is he in there? Jeff Bridges as the wizard. <clears throat> oh, where's my staff? <laughs> oh, I've been holding it the whole time. <laughs> you see this beard? I made the beads. <laughs> this trailer. Uh, this trailer. God, I'm gonna, I want to see it. <laughs> and Chet Hanks as the kid who's watching this all go down in his bedroom like Fred Savage, Fred Savage did in A Princess Bride. Uh, <laughs> Can, Dad, can you let me out? Can you let me like it looks like a lot of cool stuff is going down there. There's a troll. There's there, there, there's like a knight. There's a wizard. It sounds great. Inconceivable. <laughs> Inconceivable. And Paul Giamatti is the guy who just discovered that Boat Trip wasn't starring Beyonce. Unbelievable. You know it's fucking money I lost on that. I don't know. I don't even know who let me bet it. The Vegas. It just cost me everything. Fucking everything. <laughs> By the way, you know one of my first impressions ever was um, Wallace Shawn from Who's Princess that? Bride. Oh, oh no, this is unbelievable! Oh my! He plays the Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He plays Rex. He's like Woody. No. <laughs> when I was a little kid, because I, I loved the Princess Bride oh, so yeah, much. Oh yeah, dude, that movie is. No, we're rhyming. I made it. What? Everybody it... want a peanut? <laughs> no. <laughs> Andre the Giant, right? Oh, Have you seen that documentary? Oh, oh, no, it's... is it on HBO? Yeah. I'll watch so it tonight. I've heard it is amazing. It's uh, phenomenal. Do yeah. you know they're doing a roast of Ric Flair? Yes. Did it just happen? I think Funches is doing it. Yeah, so yeah. is Taylor Williamson. Wow. I love I love Ric Flair. I've only got to oh. know who he is because of Brad. Yes. Oh, my. I know you're a big wrestling guy. Come yeah. on. Dude, well, now... the cocaine that he was on in those interviews in the 80s. <laughs> oh, really? Every day was a white Christmas. <laughs> His nose looked like a snow globe. <laughs> Yeah, people are like how like how did you come up with those high energy characters? You're like, eh, get some help. Yeah, it was about a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> An eight ball. <laughs> well we then, skeezy. <laughs> well then, you have to go to the Chris Jericho Rock and Wrestling Rager at Sea Part Du, where Ric Flair is going to be on the cruise. Are you going? I'm hosting it. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, dude, this is amazing. Yeah, I, Sam, Sam Richardson was here, and Brad told him that I think he's now going. Yeah, he's because going. He just wants. When to is it? It's uh, uh, January 20th to the 23rd of 2020. Wow, that is worth going to. So you got to. some time. Yeah. I, I kind of want to go just to see what all these uh, wrestling Sc- uh, fans are. I got to go to see how much Kevin guys Nash. they can get on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. go just to see all the lack of women. What's this called? Man boat? <laughs> Man boat. <laughs> yeah. You're a woman. Get the fuck out. <laughs> no girls allowed. Hey, I smell estrogen. We're kicking you overboard. Hey, Man, hey, what? I can't smell a little head every now and then? Joe Biden's there. <laughs> <laughs> we got Biden. He's sniffing your head to make sure you've got, got, yeah. he oh, he'll, you've got he enough he's estrogen. <laughs> he'll sniff you out. He sniffs it. It's a chick. It's a chick. T- T- toss her overboard. overboard. You get the old Biden kick to the ass. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> Kevin Nash vote for Biden. Don't him. say it as you're kicking. Wait, they go, wait, they, no, they go, we can either throw you off the boat or you can stand in the corner and let Joe rub your shoulders. <laughs> they just jump. Yeah. <laughs> wait, why is Joe's like fucking, like he's a, like cracking his knuckles I waiting know. for the rub. <laughs> That's his wrestling move, the Biden rub down. <laughs> just like a Wilhelm scream uh, off the uh, boat. <laughs> the shoulder caress. Yeah. Oh, man. There's, um, Good God Almighty, that's the Biden shoulder caress. <laughs> you will never escape the clutches <laughs> of the Biden shoulder caress. Yeah. You got to do. Why aren't you announcing wrestling? I know. Why am I not announcing wrestling, I damn know, it? Oh, dude, that is it. You take that gig, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, in a second. If, if, and they it's should, funny. They, you should definitely yeah. be there. Well, and, this uh, cruise might get you in that world. 100%. A little bit yeah. Harder, yeah. I want to. One, one of our friends just got hired by the w, uh, WWE as an announcer. Our friend uh, Johnny LaQuasto. He is now going to be working with the WWE. Shut up. As yeah. an announcer? As an announcer. Wow. Dream come true, right? Yeah, for him, absolutely. So that's so that's a kibosh on comedy. I mean, he, he's going to keep doing it when he can, but mostly he's going to be announcing. But you know, what? You know what's he, amazing, though? Is he, he's going to sell his... out rooms, though. If yeah. you say the WWE's, like, yeah. if that is yeah. the credit, he, he, and then if he... Yeah, if you're, you get known oh, as a man, commentator. Yeah. He's going to sell out way... I mean, not that he isn't, but it's like, it's his fan base is going to... That is his... Pat, I mean, he's such Good a... Good God Almighty! He's going to make ticket bonuses on the Friday Late Show, damn it! 
Nice. That's such an insane That wasn't joke. the impression. That was just, that was just Brad. That was just out. Brad. Was just I was Brad just going to say that feels like that feels like Brad had a chip that on his yeah. shoulder. <laughs> I'm not sure that yeah. was what's happening on your Friday late shows, shit. man. Yeah. Damn it! I want to be there. I, Fuck! What happened? I want to be selling tickets. Yeah. They're like, we, yeah, we we like this. The, the rage, Brad. <laughs> I've like, got a family. Damn it! Okay, well, let's talk about the wrestling yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. just start yeah. screaming about things that aren't well. I at the bank the other day. They said I was overdrawn. Oh, okay, Brad. Just a therapy session for Brad. <laughs> uh, and fuck Dinklage, damn it. People are like, who? Dinklage? Dinklage comes on and you wrestle Dinklage? Oh. Brother, pay-per-view. Done. Uh, how often do you do your podcast? Done. Mine? This, yeah. this is the, ki- uh, the Kites I, of the Round Table. Every, yeah. uh, like twice a week with my cousin. Yeah. Jeff Kite at Kites of the Round Table. Now, is he mad he's not the most talented kite? He is a fucking talented yeah, kite. He's great. He uh, plays. He's not Jonathan. Every Kite. he is not. He's Jeffrey Allen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he he plays every instrument. He's an amazing singer. He's in a huge band called The Voids with Julian Casablancas, who's okay. the lead singer of uh, The Strokes. Whoa. And they have a new album dropping, and um, The Strokes do, and so do The Voids. Will have a new. So one. why do you? Why does your family get all the talent? I mean, you know what's amazing about that is that yeah. we. It's so we always were so supportive of one another because mm-hmm. we were doing two different things and we sort of hit at the same time, which was really great because I feel like having family out here when you know I'm from Illinois. Yeah. My brother lives in Seattle now. Yep. But um, you know, there's really I had friends out here, but to have a family member huge. Huge. Right. It really yeah. was. And one that you get along with and that Incredibly you Incredibly well. Right. You and guys have not a... like hitting you up for money. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's great. You know, honestly, yeah. because you think about all of the things, all of the relationships with proximity that it could be annoying. It's like, oh, we live super close, yeah. or you yeah, know, now we have to see each other exactly. for Thanksgiving. But like, we don't. We're we hang out yeah. like two, three times a week, four times a week. That's awesome. Yeah, we go on these night walks, like, uh, and we call ourselves the Juberhood Watch, <laughs> and like we just we just walk around the neighborhood, and we you know we look like two people are just complaining. About I don't know. Stuff. We're just like, oh, <laughs> hey. Should be clean of this name. Yoda was the original Jew. <laughs> that's so funny. And so, so you we, do that as a bit. That's really funny. I don't, but I should. Yeah, Yoda's it, the original Jew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just um, complaining. About yeah, stuff. just like uh, cleaner this neighborhood should be. <laughs> just like shitty about everything. But um, you know what's crazy is like we decided to take that, and that's what the podcast became uh, because we were just talking about random shit. Okay. And then we were just like, we should just do that. That's awesome. Yeah, so we're writing some new shit, and we've, we're probably like 20 episodes in. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So yeah, everyone go and subscribe to Kites of the Roundtable. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's cool. How long have you guys been doing this? How many episodes is we this? We just what? celebrated our, what was it, our seven, seven year? Yeah. Yeah, our well, seven year anniversary. We're coming up on 500 Ooh, eps. I was going to say, I, I was. that's what I would have guessed if somebody had said how, asked me how many you had done. I don't, yeah, how many actually? I'm going to yeah. check right and, now. And, and only 354 of those episodes are you or Brent Morin. I know it. Somebody <laughs> asked me today, and I was like, I'm "I don't okay know how that. many I've done. I've done like eight or nine, maybe yeah. ten. <laughs> and like, and it's fun, and we keep having. No, I that. love it, dude. I, I, this is my favorite podcast to do. Love it. You guys have yeah, such a good is... flow. I'm gonna miss this. Uh, I'm gonna miss the studio here. I know, me too, oh. man. I'm not sure how many episodes we're at, but we're almost. So, uh, and for those of you who probably don't know, because you because you don't know Adam personally, Adam is moving. Yes, and uh, his address is gonna be. Yep. yep uh, here's his social. <laughs> Hold on. Let's start with the social. Hold on. Okay. Let's get that card <laughs> we'll out. We'll do there that first. in the podcast, by the way. Yeah. Like, we'll mention something, and I'll literally have to be like, Jeff, we have to delete that. Yeah. <laughs> We just, uh, we just, you know, admitted like, that what? we like, committed you, that crime. I'm like, what? You said your ex-girlfriend's phone number and told our listeners to call her. That's, yeah, yeah. That's not Aggressively. Good. How long did you black out? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Well, the, the episode's been up for a week. Well, maybe we should because this is the last one with you here. But, you know, I think, by the way, for our 500th ep, we should, like, do, whether it's a live one or at least just get, like, oh, a handful God, of, like, live great, one. like, yeah. maybe just, like, you know, like, like Dana, John... Warren, yeah, just like just like a bunch of people that have done it. The All Stars, a, a bunch of times. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, that w- that will be the time that you're in the All Star game. <sighs> the the one time, <laughs> but I still sit on the bench. Wait, did hold you, on. Did either of you guys start? Uh, Brad did. I did. Fuck. I uh, I did the stole tip. the he stole the tip off. Where's yeah. your so what jersey? What number were you? Uh, number seven because I'm a big Broncos fan. Shout out to John Elway. Okay, and what I about try, you? I was 33. I, I tried to so go for my, a half number, but. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, they, they wouldn't let me. That. You should have been a half. I was, tried who to. Was, who was your coach? Uh, Sue Bird. And you guys were the same team? Same team. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. so sick. Who was yeah. the coach of the other team? Uh, 
Oh, Don, Don Staley. Don Staley. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, cool. yes, 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 yes. That's yeah, awesome. it was great, man. We were sitting there. Brad, Brad did the. Uh, well, we did, we did a whole recap episode, but you know, just talking to like Ray Allen and all these guys. Oh, like, dude, I saw yeah. your uh, your Instagram was so annoying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Delia posted I, I, on my last. We posted a bunch of videos, yeah. and then yeah. finally, I just had a bunch of pictures, and I was like, I just need to post a, one more and just do yeah. like a, a series of them. And I posted like twelve photos, and then Chris commented below. He goes, "Hey, man, did you play in the Celebrity All Star Game or something?" Because <laughs> it was just like you know. Yeah. That's amazing. And I was like, hey, man, if you ever get in, if they ask you and you even score a bucket, Does he I was play? like, I'll pay for your kid's college tuition. It's so hard to score. People take it seriously. Well, yeah, but uh, yeah, for but sure. But also, let me ask you, some, does he play ball? No, no. Because there's a lot, of, said, yeah, there are like, a lot of comics that play ball. Yeah, yeah, and they were all mad at us. Yeah, and none <laughs> of them were fucking there. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 yeah, because cause like, yeah, I played back in the day, but not... Anything recently? Wiffle ball. Yeah, <laughs> he's uh, unreal on NBA 2K. <laughs> yeah, I do this. Uh, I do this joke on my <clears throat> on my album about how because uh, we got blown up by congratulations. So many... By the way, oh thanks. The man. album's coming out when mm -hmm. Fr uh, Friday. Yeah, yeah, dude. Are you doing a release party or something? Or I don't know. I mean, I'm probably just gonna ask yeah, most people cool. to tweet it out. <laughs> that yeah. sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just alone with a bottle I of gin, <laughs> warm microwave. That's gin. my party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just saying, Beyonce. Blackout for one, please. <laughs> I'm like, who are you talking Watching to? There's no one there. The cast of Boat You're just like, it is Beyonce. Like, there's no one here. <laughs> Nobody do a joke about how, um, you know, because uh, we got blown up by all these rappers. So yeah. it's just like, you know, and it was, uh, and, and uh, the others, everyone being like, you know, who the fuck is Adam Ray? And I'm like, good to hear from you, amigos. You know, yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, so many people were just like, uh, I mean, I saw Lil Rel tweeting out that, um, yeah. you know, why he wasn't in it, we were. And, you know, <laughs> wow. Yeah. And he's a friend. And it was, and it was yeah. in LA, right? No, it was in Charlotte. Uh, it, oh, it was, it was Charlotte. in Charlotte. So who were the Charlotte celebrities? Uh, uh, Jay Williams. Uh, Steve Smith. Wait, oh, Duke Smith. Jay Williams? Yeah, yeah. He was on the other team. Yeah. He was and, unreal, by the way. Oh, by the way, I'm a Duke, uh, diehard Duke fan. Always oh, wow. have and always will be. And uh, All right, so that's been Jonathan Kite, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I guess this is my farewell show. <laughs> Just got to be choking out Brad. <laughs> the cameras get knocked over. Found footage. <laughs> so that's what happened in court. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, but I love Jay Will so much. Yeah, he I mean, can still play, by the way. Yeah, I saw him just like out and about in L.A. And he's so jacked. Yeah, dude. He's so big. And I just went up to him. I was like, dude, you're the you're awesome. Yeah. You're amazing. That run that that. Dude, when they won with him and Brandon. I know, it, that's, that's one of the true, I mean, him and Brandon Roy are like the two guys I think of when I'm like, man, if we could have gotten them for oh. like at least 10 more years, like. And Arvita Sabonis. <laughs> just, well, yeah, if he could just still be playing right now. Right now. He, at he, 55. Is in, he is in my most liked Instagram photo in history. Like, like out of all my photos. Yeah. Jay Williams. Oh, I thought you were going to say Arvita Sabonis. This, picture. this photo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. Th that's poster blow up worthy. <laughs> that is unreal. What did, about the picture of you and Quavo? I sent you. Wait, you did Muggsy that. Bogues play or no? <laughs> no, he did well, not. He was a big Charlotte guy. He well, did he not there. play. We went to the Legends Breakfast and they honored like Muggsy, Glenn yeah. Rice, Zoe. Um, yeah, uh, but Larry we, Johnson. But I don't think he was there. But, no, yeah. but Grandmama was. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was the original Mrs. Doubtfire. They asked, yeah, I know. They asked. They didn't Love ask it. LJ to come. They're, they're like, like, he's like LJ. Like, I'm not going to be there, and he shows up, and they're like, LJ, what are you doing? Like, I ain't LJ. I'm Grandma. Yeah, yeah, they're like, all right, dude. You're not even changing your voice, dude. You're I know, man. I saw the, the flyer you, on my car window for you your show. Suit and a wig, and the wig's coming off. <laughs> Those glasses don't fit. Wait, wearing a mustache. <laughs> she let herself go. Wearing a mustache. She, These so it's his. not you. Yeah. <laughs> He has those glasses, like Mr. Potato Head glasses. They didn't fit on his face. If you put a side by side of Grandma Ma and Medea, Larry Johnson might have a lawsuit on his head. Oh, I'm telling you, that's where I think he got it from. Yeah, because the same. Wow, Tyler Perry rips off Grandma. And rips he's off wearing. Larry why, was, Johnson. why is why is uh, Medea wearing cons? <laughs> <laughs> With the reaction gel. Oh, uh, dude, that was one of the best commercials of all time. Absolutely. The absolutely. first. It was the first. What I just did some thing where I was getting interviewed all these basketball questions, and it was they were asking like the best who had the best nicknames, and I went through lists, and I go first was Kemp and the Rain Man because I just thought of the poster and I thought mm -hmm. how great the nickname was and whatever. I tried to break down what it was. Grandma Mom was the next one I came up with yeah. because I was like that literally. Is also, it was the first time a player was so popular that because uh, that was before like Little Penny and and obviously mm -hmm. Jordan was Jordan, but like somebody that took that had like a funny commercial that I can remember, yeah. right? That was like a caricature, and also the fact that a grandma was playing pickup basketball, like you never thought about that as being a you know a, a, thing a marketable a, thing, yeah, yeah, especially that in that point, yeah. My that, like, yeah, my favorite NBA nickname is of a player that no one really knows, but he's got the best nickname, and that's. Kenneth Fareed, the manimal. 
Yeah. Is that great. his nickname? Yeah. The Manimal. That's pretty great. That's I think he gave solid. himself that name. <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> hey, Kevin, you mean Manable? No, man. I, uh, <laughs> you, you're parked in my spot. <laughs> um, Wor- could... Wait, worst NBA nickname? Ooh. Uh, let's uh, see. Spreewell? What was this? Spree- the Cho- Coach Choker? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's yeah, pretty, that's pretty yeah, bad. Pretty bad. That's Did, pretty bad. Didn't really catch on. Yeah, uh, uh, Greg Oden. <laughs> I don't want to, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Mr. Glass. <laughs> no, I, I was gonna say the bust. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude. I yeah. feel so bad for him. I know. He was, you know, he. I will say he was one of only three players in, in high school basketball that won uh, Player of the Year two years in a row. He won as a junior and as a senior. Wow. So the other two is he coaching? LeBron anyone? James. And Luel Cinder, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. So Jeez. those LeBron James beat out yeah. Carmelo Anthony for player of the year when Carmelo was a senior at Oak Hill Academy mm-hmm. and he was St. Vincent St. Mary as junior. LeBron was a junior. Jesus. Once again, Carmelo Anthony, it doesn't yeah. work out for us. Buzzkill. Him. What a just a <laughs> that well, that's his nickname. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> his nickname was Marshmallow Anthony. <laughs> also good. It's about last night.